Hey, hi everyone. Today we are going to solve one of the very important problem, and this is my favorite one also. The question name is the longest common prefix. And what they are asking, we are having a list of a string. Okay, but we have to figure out the prefix which is common across all the strings, and that should be the longest one. So you understand? Suppose this is an example. Flower, flow, light. In this case, you can see common prefix is yep, can wrap all the words into the list of strings. So you can see flower again, flow again, flight. So you can see there are two characters common across all the words. This is a common and this is longest also. So in this case, you can see the dog, race car, and see even if the first character is not same for all the words. So in this case, longest common uh, that's all. So let's try to understand how can we solve this problem using uh, one of the famous data sets called as try. And literally, I am saying that this is a really, really simple problem we are going to solve. So as we have seen on uh, question on the lead code, so question name is longest common prefix, and uh, this is example. So what we have to do at the high level. We have to construct a try data structure, store all these things. Okay. So suppose we have created a root node, root of a try, and we are at a first string. Okay. And we will just iterate over this string one by one, and we will insert the elements not present. So for this string, we are at a first character, so we will insert L. Again, L is not present. Insert L. O is not present, insert O. W is not present, insert W. Uh, e is not present, insert E. And same for R also. On the other hand, when we are at a second string, we will try to iterate the character by character. This one, this one, this one, this one. We will check F is present or not, F is present, TK. Then we will go to the L. L is present or not, L is present, TK. O is present or not, yes, O is also present. And W is present or not, W is also present. So we will just mark this character as the end of the word. True. And this also is end of word equal to true. So what is our third word? Use of flight. So F is present, TK. L is present, TK. I is not present. Then I add, add a node for I. Then same for G, X, and T. So we have to figure out the longest common prefix for all the strings. In this case, the longest common string is F and L, as you can see. So the step is construct a try with all strings. That is a first step, and the second step is figure out the common thread. How can we figure out that common thread? That see into the code. So these are the high level steps we will do uh, while getting the longest common. Thread. And because of this, time complexity will reduce to the O of n. O of n is like a total characters into whole list of space. and space complexity also over so this is optimized solution which we can solve using the private data so let's try to code this so we have gone through the solution so first of all uh, create the class for the try, like a class for the try, then create a method where we can insert each string into the try. So that is our first step. Second step is uh, whatever is the common area, right? Lama, as we have seen on channel method, whatever is the common area for the try, just figure out that. So that will be our strongest common. Thing. So let's try to code this. So first of all, create a class for a try node. So write a class for it. 
so this is how we write the function into the Python. And the creator keywords like the L dot and word in is as false. So I have one query. If you have not seen the try uh, video, like uh, if you have not seen the try video which I have just posted full of days back, please go through it. I am assuming that you are having the complete knowledge of uh, what is a try data system before solving this problem. And uh, this is a very important problem. And uh, literally, this is one of the simplest problem I have seen. So it's solved using try. Okay. So we have created a node for try data structure. So let's create a uh, create a root node for the try. This is for this class solution. Self dot root will be the try node. Now let's create an insert method where we are inserting each string into the try. So make insert first parameter as self, parameter as word. So take a reference to the root node of a try. Okay. Now we root over the each character into the string and insert into the try. It's not necessary. For CF word. Okay, if that character is not present into the class, we for character not parent dot ac into that uh, as a children of that parent node, then insert one try node for that. So current dot ac of character and try try node for it. If it's not present, then create one node. If it is present, just uh, get on that node. Event, then current dot and after inserting the whole word, our uh, current will point to last character. For that, just mark the boolean variable. It is a word end. Okay. So current dot is. So these are the two important functions: creating the root node for a class and insert function. We are inserting strings into the class. So now. Take each string and insert it. And on the top of that, so in the worst case, our longest common string, right, will be having a length equal to the smallest length of a word into the smallest of string. For example, uh, at worst, what will happen? So this is the smallest string that can be a longest common string, right? So we have to figure out the uh, length of a Smallest string into the list option. Okay. Create a word, smallest length, smallest word length. So initially, I will just assign the infinity to it, not dot infinity, then graze over the words. Okay. And insert word one by one. Self dot insert and pass the word. And on the top of that, we track the uh, length of the smallest word. Smallest word length into minimum of a smallest word length and length cut. Now, next step is we have to figure out the common area where we are having only one children, right? For all the strings. For that, take a response to the root node. Output. So that is the first step. Second step is uh, yeah, that's all. Then take a loop until the children of a current node is only one. So we have to iterate until all the strings will have in the common end. And we have seen on the end, right? So if the length of a current of children, children of a current node is equal to one, and we have not crossed the length of a smallest word, right? Smallest word length should not should be greater than equal to zero. So that is the first thing. In this case, uh, get that key. How can we get that key? That is a hash table, right? I'll convert that key is into the list. So key is equal to list of current dot usd dot key. 
so this keep function this how we can access all the keys of a hash table into it. so as we know until uh, the uh, children of a current node is only one we can just access the first node so the only key will be keys of a like uh, with the first index and just take access single to add that only key to the access so that is a logic which you have to do to figure out the common part for all the strings and on the top of that reduce the length of a smallest word and to the current node uh, to that particular current equal to current of just the of a only key and I return the answer so time complexity will be two of them I am assuming that n will be the length of all the characters into this list. And this complexity at worst case will be. Let's check this. It's, it's, there is some issue. So in Python, we should write and like this. Uh, so it's happening because on daily basis, I am working into the code list. So it is working fine. Yeah, it's working fine. So please go through the solution. This is one of the important problems which can be asked in today's interview. And this is the this is straightforward and easy.